former President Trump getting criticized for hosting a dinner at his Mar-a-Lago home with the artist formerly known as Kanye West and Nick Fuentes, a far-right commentator with a history of espousing and promoting white supremacist and anti-Semitic ideas. President Trump was wrong uh, uh, to give a, a white nationalist, uh, uh, an anti-Semite and a Holocaust denier a seat at the table. And uh, I think he should apologize for it. Uh, and he should denounce those individuals uh, uh, and their hateful rhetoric without qualification. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And if you think Mike Pence has suddenly grown a backbone, think again. He's still using his interviews to sell his new book, and he's pretty shameless about that. Pence is trying to trick everyone into believing that Donald Trump just can't be racist or anti-Semitic because his daughter Ivanka is married to a Jewish man and converted to Judaism. With that being said, as I point out in the book as well, I, I, I don't believe Donald Trump is an anti-Semite. I don't believe he's a racist or a bigot. I, I would not have been his vice president if he was. And uh, you know, people often forget the, the president's daughter converted to Judaism. Yep. His son-in-law is a devout Jew. Um, his grandchildren are Jewish. But his past actions and frequent aligning of himself and the MAGA crowd with those touting white supremacy is a little more than a coincidence. People in this country that are Jewish no longer love Israel. I'll tell you the evangelical Christians love Israel more than the Jews in this country. It used to be that Israel had absolute power over Congress. And today I think it's the exact opposite. You look at the New York Times, the New York Times hates Israel hates them, and they're Jewish people that run the New York Times. So, a lot to dive in the two there. I mean, that's like four or five anti-Semitic tropes in 40 seconds. A new record, perhaps. Uh, I, I think the president demonstrated uh, profoundly poor judgment uh, in, in giving those individuals a seat at the table. And as I said, I think he should apologize for it. He should denounce them without qualification. Trump has never really condemned those in the neo-Nazi mindset without a lot of winks and nods, still welcoming them very openly if they at any point praise him. But none of this seems to change Pence's mind. Rather, he's very focused on keeping a distance between him and the former president, but not too much. He can count on maybe a small portion of Trump's base being a fan of his, but it won't be much. The tweets and the insurrection put an end to that. But the homophobia and Christian nationalism, they're just right. Giving Pence more of the spotlight all of a sudden, notice after the midterms really doesn't do the country any justice at all. In fact, it highlights yet another person close to Trump who was well aware of his lawlessness and reckless nature and waited to sound the alarm until they could get a book deal out of the whole thing. Pence has been more than quiet about January the 6th and still refused to really press his former running mate on the fact that he may have tried to get him killed. Now with the Justice Department seeking Pence's testimony, it may be only a matter of time before he can keep as hushed as he has been thus far. This all really comes down to whether or not Pence intends to run for president in 2024 and how committed he is to a race that may pit him against Donald Trump. It's an ego contest between two very deranged people for very different reasons. Pence has a lot of the same policy ideas that Trump had, but he would be more strategic in introducing them versus using Twitter as his podium. However, there is not a Pence following that has shown itself to really compare to the likes of the MAGA cult. Pence doesn't have the same hold on people that Trump does. And I think that is pretty clear. Let's just hope that the more people come out ready to run for the GOP nomination in 2024, the more fractured and weaker the Republican Party becomes, and maybe, just maybe, we can finally leave this mess of the MAGA nuthouse behind us. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.